the Council for Geoscience is starting the drilling of a 3.5 kilometer hole deep in the ground. This is part of research to inform policy formulation and regulatory framework for shale gas exploration and extraction in the Karoo Basin. We're joined now by Council for Geoscience CEO, Musa Mabuza. Uh, good morning. Thank you for joining us, uh, Mr. Mabuza. So tell me about this drilling. 3.5 kilometers, is that the depth? Uh, that would be, uh, you know, among the deepest um, excavations uh, along the, the lines of the mines that we see um, in, in Gauteng uh, that are among the deepest in the world. Why are you undertaking what you are calling uh, the Karua deep drilling at this particular point? So um, it, the, what this exercise is, is that um, in 2010 or thereabout, we had the experts from the United States Energy Agency who looked at the core uh, that was drilled some 40, 50 years ago and uh, looked at a horizon called shale in the Karoo and uh, extrapolated from that information that South Africa might have to the amount of 390 uh, trillion cubic feet of shale gas that is hosted in the Karoo. Uh, immediately thereafter, we had a number of companies that expressed interest to explore and develop shale gas. At the same time, we had communities that raised legitimate concerns around the uh, environmental safety as well as the risk of water pollution, uh, particularly in the Karoo, where water is very scarce. A uh, number of NGOs environmental NGOs uh, engaged with government to express uh, this legitimate concern, particularly uh, given some of the challenges that were experienced in other jurisdictions yeah. which, with shale gas extraction. It was at this point that the government took a decision to halt any processing of exploration rights uh, uh, for shale gas extraction, and then tasked both the Council for Geoscience and Petroleum Agency South Africa to first do a comprehensive uh, geo-environmental baseline study. So uh, in your so drilling what, right now, Mr. Mabuza, what exactly are you looking to find by way of evidence? And I, I, I gather from your tone uh, using such words as, extrapo as extrapolation in describing what had been undertaken, uh, undertaken uh, in 2010 and the projections there, that there's yes. possibly you know, uncertainty as to whether the extent of the shale gas deposits is as... Uh, was initially projected, some 390 trillion uh, cubic feet. Are you doing this because you now doubt that uh, we could have that much shale gas that's even worth um, drilling and, and, and fracking? Not at all. Uh, what, what this study is, it is responding to those concerns that were expressed by the NGOs and the communities that uh, any development of shale gas has to be informed by the research uh, and the science evidence. So, and this science evidence is there to ensure that uh, uh, any future development will uh, have considered the scientific research in order to protect the sanctity of the environment as well as uh, protect any possibilities of water pollution, particularly uh, fresh uh, uh, groundwater, which we know occurs at depths of up to 300 meters. Let me hasten to tell you that uh, we have been on the ground for the past couple of years. In the first phase of, we drilled to depths of around uh, 1,400 meters. And during that phase, we were looking at characterizing the groundwater uh, uh, in, in that environment. And it was at that time 
when the Western Cape was facing severe water shortages and the town of Beaufort West in particular, there were literally a few days uh, to uh, day zero as it was termed at that time. And we were able to, as part of this research and the work that we're doing, hand over two boreholes to the municipality of, uh, uh, of Beaufort West. And I'm very delighted to announce that from uh, February 2018, when we handed uh, the, the two boreholes to November last year, uh, the, the people of Beaufort West and the surrounding towns uh, have consumed over 400 million liters directly as a contribution of the work of this research at phase sure. one. Um, I, 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 hear that, I hear that, Mr. Mabuza, but l let me also hasten to say that uh, surely you're not suggesting that um, finding water and drilling a borehole would in any way ameliorate for some of the environmental damage that people are concerned about uh, and some of the uh, water pollution that people are concerned about, are you? No, all I'm saying is that the, the research, and I'm saying, and this is what our message has been to communities, allow the research to answer the questions that you are concerned about. So there's, there's, there's concerns around three critical issues. The first one is water. That's the one that I've addressed now. The second one is the environment. A part of this borehole will give us the answers on how to protect the environment. The third one is seismicity. Would there be likely induced seismicity as a result of, uh, as a result of uh, shale gas development in the future? That's right. Well, we don't know that. Lastly so and quickly, there... yeah. Lastly and quickly, Mr. Mabuza, what's the timeline? When will we know for sure whether we have viable, uh, commercially viable shale gas uh, beneath the Karoo? Um, and whether or not we can actually access that uh, through methods, various methods, perhaps even including um, uh, hydraulic fracturing um, and, and still be able to maintain the, the, the environment. What's your, what's your timeline? So, so this, this, this phase of, of drilling, because it is core drilling and it's going to those depths, uh, we will be on site here to extract the core for the next 12 months. And after that 12 months, there are going to be numerous uh, geoscientific tests, downhole geophysics, core logging, uh, and so on, and, and various analysis, uh, gas analysis, and, uh, and, and various types. So the 12 months on the ground, and perhaps a further 6 to 12 months of finalizing the, the analysis. So I can say from launching yesterday, uh, we are looking at reasonably 18 months to conclude, 18 months to two years to conclude this exercise and come back to you and, and the people of South yeah. Africa and say, we have now done the research. These are the findings. These are the records. Fantastic. Mr. Musa Mabuza, thank you so much for your time. Uh, he is the CEO of the Council for Geosciences, uh, talking to us there about some of the work that they are doing uh, around the issue of shale gas uh, in the Karuo.